A Maryland couple together for nearly three decades will now finally be able to tie the knot, all thanks to Maryland voters approving same-sex marriage. Fox 5's Matt Acklin sat down with the couple this afternoon. Matt, I imagine they must be overjoyed. Oh yeah, they were, Sean. Tuesday was a big day for those fighting for equality when it comes to gay rights. Voters in Maryland, Maine, and Washington State have approved gay marriage by ballot. Also in Wisconsin, voters elected an openly gay lesbian U.S. Senator, Tammy Baldwin. And, and that's carried for all 29 years. Holding hands, still very much in love. It was 1983 when Teresa Williams and Joe Deutsch began their relationship after moving to Washington. And did I hear 29 years? 29 years. Over, over 20. Over 20. It's 29 and a half now. <laughs> Since then, they've raised three children. Two are now in college. Two of the boys voted um, in this election, one of them for the first time. It's a safe bet their sons voted in favor of same-sex marriage. It's something their moms have wanted, but have been unable to do in the state they call home. We have lived in Maryland for th almost 30 years. This is our home. This is where we have created our family here in Maryland, and this is where we wanted to get married. It wasn't easy convincing a majority of Marylanders to vote in favor of same-sex marriage. There was a lot of opposition. It's been a very long time coming. Maryland delegate Heather Mazier says efforts were made to include everyone in the discussion. So we crossed party lines, um, all faith traditions, all races, creeds. We had supporters at every single level um, behind us. Teresa and Joe admit it feels a bit odd, planning a wedding after spending most of their lives together. Who's going to be the flower girls? Who can bring, who can be the photographer? Who's going to officiate? I mean, that is just something I don't think either one of us ever thought was going to be a possibility for us. I, I never, I never expected it. Never expecting it, but thanks to their fellow Marylanders, it's a dream that has finally come true. It didn't seem real until yesterday until, until last this night morning, right. until whenever it was real i mean it, it didn't seem real until it was such a nice couple teresa and joe had been thinking about a big celebration on their 30th anniversary next year now they think that will be a perfect time to get married sean Matt Acklin, thank you. Some other noteworthy ballot measures passed across the nation. Voters in Maine joined Maryland in approving same-sex marriage. Voters in Minnesota defeated a constitutional amendment that would have banned same-sex marriage. Washington State and Colorado both voted to legalize recreational use of marijuana. And in California, voters approved raising income taxes on people making more than $250,000 a year to help balance the state budget.